with somebody's hit kid. You watching Emilio Kifo. We got hit kid for hit legendary kid, commentary. What he do, man? Let's get it. We are back. Another episode of the Immediately Kinfolk Podcast, one hard ass podcast Immediately. radio show. Just an event. And, and who I have with me to the right hand side of me right now is a young legend. You know Memphis what I mean? A young legend in the game, man. I, I wanna I wanna give it up for Hit Kid right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hit Kid is in the building. As you say with your tag, Hit Kid, what it do, man? What it do, man? What made you stay true to the Memphis like sound? You know what I mean? Um, of music, you know what I mean? Because I, I, when I first got hip to you, I think it was uh, with Duke Deuce. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like with his vibe or whatever, and he was coming mm -hmm. back with the crunk vibe. So, and me seeing you being a producer, the way you actually get hands on with artists, were you kind of hands on with that, bringing that crunk back vibe, or was it just you know, is that just a his thing? Or how, how did that go? How was those sessions between you and Duke Deuce? It was already, but in both our blood. Yeah. It was in his blood, our rivers in my blood. I'm like, yeah. I seen it, like, I got to work with dude. And not even, and then the song where I seen him, where I first seen him was a whole lot of, so it really wasn't even crunk. Yeah. But once we did, I had sent him some stuff. He was like, man, this is exactly what I've been looking for. And I had sent him some stuff. And then we just, I already had them type of, you know, that type of sound. Yeah. And it was already in him to do that. And yeah. when we got together, we just, you know, molded the sound together. How <laughs> did the, Glorilla, FNF, how did, with all the, the, the women, Aliza, Carb, and all the women that you put together. When I first, we, we had a meeting, before, like, we always tell people this, but he came to Tree Sound Studios in Atlanta. This is, this is like COVID vibes, you know what I'm saying? This is mm -hmm. after you had the success with Duke Deuce, and I was trying to get uh, 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 the time, I was trying to get Mike Jackson over Sony. at uh, Sony yeah. to go ahead and, and bust down with this man, and he was just, we sat down in the studio and he played me <clears throat> record after record after record, bro. Each of these joints, like, I'm talking about, like, bangers. I'm talking about, and he was doing the Hit Kid for President joint, the mm -hmm. 2020 joint. But he was like, so he played me these joints and I'm hearing, like, the sound. And he's like, man, I'm more like the Khaled of Memphis. You know what I mean? With, with picking out the talent and all that, right? So, so he starts playing me these female records. And he's playing me these records from these women or whatever. And they're, like, all, like... Super ratchet, <clears throat> like super, like you know what I mean, gutter, you know what I mean. And he's playing me these records or whatever, bro. And 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 Sony didn't move at the time, you know what I'm saying on it. But it's like it's like I was like I was like man, I'm telling you, I I was I was going to bat. I was like man, y'all need to you tripping. I'm telling y'all, it's coming, it's coming. But yeah. I like when they when they sleep like that because I know you you got you it still worked out, you know what I mean. Yeah. But I like when they sleep because they can at least say hey. I know for a fact that I brought, you know what I'm saying, that I said this was the joint, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And it's like, so you come with, you was like, I got all these girls. So how did, what what was, how did you think to to do that? Because, yeah, how, did that come about? Yeah, how did that come about? Like, you know what I mean? Um, well, I already had this idea to put, uh, like, women in the forefront from Memphis on the, like, That's really, you. really, like, gangster way. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, like, it really want that. And then it really want no women coming out of Memphis. And it really just went on women just being put on the pedestal and, you know, rap music, period, music in general. Unless yeah. they were doing some pop. But uh, <clears throat> I remember texting Gloss, like, a lot, when I first got a number, like, in 2019 or something like that. It, no, it was actually 2019. Yeah. And I was telling her what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. But she was, like, the uh, one of the few women I knew that was doing, that, you know, yeah. that rapping. I knew she was taking it serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her, man, I'm just trying to make some pop with some girls. And then I had did I actually did a song with uh Red Ron. We actually went to school together. This is my partner sister, mm -hmm. Ace Queasy, and Celebrity Pinky. I had put together a song. It ain't really work out, but it was a, like yeah. that was the uh, first initial thing that yeah. I was trying to do. You been yeah. trying to put that movie <clears throat> together. Yeah, I had been trying to do that. This is like this before COVID, actually. Yeah. And um, okay. you know, I had been doing that and then we had this show, The Ring, with uh Texas Trill. And magic, yeah. And when the girls begin to ring and they, that, that whole thing, talking about like, is, 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 was that the thing? Like, it's like are they getting the boxing joint. No, 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 no,
It was all there. It was a couple guys. The guys actually yeah. won the showcase. Mm. But I'm like, I think the girl was the better Same performer. Song. Yeah, yeah. That was the better performer. And I ain't really, I knew, I knew Slime, but I didn't see, I didn't talk to her all the time. I ain't no glow at all. I knew Gloss just, you know, just from, uh, I knew of Gloss. And yeah. we talked like, you know, mentioned each other a couple of times. And, um, uh, Aliza, I knew Aliza through a mutual friend, but I, I still, I didn't really know her at all. She yeah. was just there around. Yeah. <clears throat> but you saw it. Yeah. Like, you just saw that. You saw it. As soon as you see them perform, it's like, wait a minute. So, that, were that's they it. a group already back then? Or like doing records together rather, or were they all uh, Glow, Glow and Gloss, you know, they best friends, so they was kind of working, but I think they had just became friends. They had just really had got tight. Yeah. And I remember Gloss posting a video with Glow in it. And I remember seeing her energy, but that was like a few months before I seen them at the show. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I think Car no Carmen was in the video too, so they had already been acquainted. Yeah. But everybody else, but as far as like all them together and doing stuff now. Yeah. So it was and, just you, you seen the vision, you saw yeah. the performance, and you're like, okay, I'm finna bust a move. Yeah. You already working with Gloss, you know what I'm saying? So it's like shout out to Gloss up, you know what I mean? Um, shout out to all those, Aliza, shout out yeah, to, 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 to Carbon, oh, shout out to Glow, all of them. What's up? It's your girl, Kay Carbon, and you are watching Immediately Kim Folk Podcast. Immediately Kim Folk. One hard ass podcast, Immediately Kim Folk Podcast. Yes, sir. And today we have some legendary commentary that I feel like is very necessary from a Young queen folk from Memphis, Tennessee. Whole lot of Memphis. She goes by the name of Kay Carbon. It's Give Carbin. it up. Don't play with her, man. Immediately, yes. Kay Carbon. Immediately, yes. Don't call her Kim, ho. Period. Hey. <laughs> Straight up. First and foremost, don't play with any of her wigs. At all. It will happen to it you. Will, it will get let's you. Just, oh my let's God. just go right into it. Immediately, yes. Okay. It wasn't even me. That was my sister. That was your sister? Yeah. yeah. That's your evil twin. Evil they, twin. They clone K-Carb. Yeah. They clone K-Carb. They clone K-Carb. That's they clone K -Carb. K -Carb. what it is. Because I've seen somebody look like K-Carb. It looks sort of like K-Carb. But man. That was her. Hey, she, man. man. She went in. Hey, your man, evil cousin. Say, man. Oh, cousin, man. My folks knew. Listen. Hey, be like don't this. play at all. No games at all, man. Um, I do see that you do have the side hustle going on with the wigs, though. Yeah. Come on, entrepreneurship. Talk to me about your entrepreneurship and what's going on with that. So I started selling her like a little bit when I had, after I graduated high school, right? Mm -hmm. And it started like just with small pre-orders and stuff from people I know, but I'm not going to lie, like it started getting major quick. Like, yeah. Yeah. The more I kept like doing it, like a lot of people were tapping in with me. So I was booming in the city. With my hair for a long time. Like, before the rap? Well, I had rap. Like, I had dropped a song in high school. So yeah. I ain't going to say before the rap, but before, like, I took rap serious for sure. Yeah. And, like, what helped me take rap serious was I was making so much money from my hair. I was just using it to do music Smart. videos, studio yeah. sessions, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So. Immediately, yes. That's dope, man. See, I always tell, like, most of the time when you, you got to have multiple hustles. Indeed. Thanks. Because one is too close to none. One must have multiple streams of income, you know what I'm saying? Because one slow down, you got something else going. You know what I mean? Pivot. That's one thing yep. I've learned. The pivot is real, you know what I mean? And you got to be able to pivot to be able to get it. You know what I mean? So I, I love and respect that hustle. You feel like you got that from like just being coming up in Memphis, you know what I mean? Or was it from your dad, your mom, or like, you know what I mean? You always been a hustler just from, from the, the gate. Where, where the hustle come from? I think that one, it do come from my parents because I remember like they used to be selling stuff when I was little. Yeah. And for two... I think it do come from Memphis because it's like everybody got that, like even them get their go get about themselves, like yeah. so. just to make your circumstances better, like they come from Memphis because you know. Yeah, it's just hard to come out of Memphis. Trenchery, yeah. Yeah, so. immediately. What, what, what yes. part of Memphis you from? I'm from like North Memphis. Like I always went to school in Frazier's. Yeah, and, man. All right, man. Yeah. yeah Frazier, man. You know, Frazier come like it's it's funny because. I remember growing up in Frazier, and I went to like Georgian Hills and, and, and Tresman, you know mm. what I mean, before I went to Overton, and it was like, which is in East Memphis, and it was like, it always felt like Frazier, Raleigh, you know, mm. North Memphis was its own like thing, separate it's from, you know like what I mean, it's me like a, on the island mm. type vibes, it like, do. you know what I'm saying, but it, it produced some of the best people in, in, in music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, um, you know, I know, you know, of course, you know, your, your, your relationship with Glow, 
was that something that was there prior? To, how long y'all been rocking? You know what I'm saying? Like it I, was, it was like before we did the set the tone song. Yeah, so like, yeah. It's right before that, I say we knew each other like three, four years before that. Yeah. Cause I was rapping in high school, remember? Yeah. And so like, she had reached out to me for doing to do a song, and like this when we first started. Yeah. Interacting with each other on a music. Uh, Base a music you, level. You, you say uh, on a what level? Music. <laughs> on a <that> music. <laughs> Immediately yes, man. Immediately yes. yes I, th uh, I think it's dope, man. Like you know, when I think about like how like like damn, like you know how far you guys have come yeah. from Frasier, like you know, like I just remember being in Frasier, feeling like man, like ain't no way I'm gonna be able to get out here with just music because it seemed like it touched yeah. the world, but it was so different. And then I see like now, you know, the women, you know what I mean, especially the women uh, from the city is coming up. What what do you do you feel like I'm gonna ask you this, okay, so women are doing it. Do you feel like it's competition? Do you feel like, you know what I mean, you had is is or is it like everybody more like just together? Do you feel like cause what I know with dudes in in, in the hip hop thing is kind of it's kinda of competitive, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, seeing like it seems like females is that is the same competitive vibe, you know what I mean? No, I don't think it's competitive. I mean, it's always competitive because you wanna make sure that you're doing your best out here, like when you yeah. putting your other your music out, you got to think about it. Other people put music out too, yeah. so I want to make sure. Of course, I'm putting out my best work. Yeah, like what I'm thinking my best work is. But as far as like competition, I don't think so. Um, I'm not gonna say that I think that everybody be like on some together stuff, but I know like the girls that's hot coming up from Memphis is. Yeah, and that's so, really different from Memphis, yeah. man. Yeah. Because that's different from Memphis. Super different because I came up in a time where you know it's like if three six was popping. It's like they was direct con, but they kind of felt like, okay, we got the, we the king of uh -huh. Memphis, so it's like we not trying yeah. to let other people, unless you sign us, be able to get up. And I, I I love to see that now Memphis is like coming together. You know what I mean? Yep. And uh, I've been pushing that for a long time. Back, even back with rap it's like, man, it'd be better if everybody to come together because Facts. in order for it to be a scene in Memphis, it got to be more than one thing in Memphis. Because you got to think about it. Like everybody had their individual stuff going on but honestly it didn't hit different until it was like together yeah. because it's something even about with the dudes too yeah it's, it's something about that corporate faith mm -hmm. and I, I take music spiritually because of the fact that like it's, it's a lot of favor on music it's like you mm -hmm. know for you to be able to be speaking something and have somebody listen to you or whatever like you're anointed you know what I'm saying Thanks. and I feel like yeah. when you got that corporate faith together you know what I mean you can bust down doors because with two or more gather God be like in the midst and, mm -hmm. I, and it's two or more gather when y'all doing y'all thing. So it's like, you know what I mean? I, I see that I see that that's breaking through. Um, do you feel like, now what I am hearing right, like in the street right now, like is it like female rap, I hear some dudes just gruntled because it's like, man, they just rapping about, you know what I'm saying? They just shaking they their ass. They rap about the same about thing. Doing like, yeah. Exactly, like, Ooh, you know what I'm saying? In nigga there. ways. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel I see I see some some people that have some comments about it or whatever, like, you know what I mean? But you know how they think the world should be. Yeah. You know they think bitches should be housewives and they should do this <laughs> and do that. Like, you know how they gonna think the yeah. world should be. So they gonna have their opinions based on it, but we don't give a damn. Yeah, <laughs> like, immediately, yes. It's a so, new day and it's two thousand finna be two thousand twenty four. You know what hey, I'm saying? It's a different and, day and, 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 and the world is definitely changing. You know what I'm saying? What do you feel about, you know, not to be speaking on other women, but just saying like okay in y'all class sexy red has come out and she's right. killing it um what are you like do, do you do you vibe with sexy red when she got going on yeah yeah she hard yeah you know what i mean st louis in the bill shout to sexy red yeah, yeah. um i like I, I just i love seeing the opportunities that are coming for women in, in hip-hop i think the reason why y'all winning is because y'all are making music that is fun yeah, Thanks. you know what I mean. I think like you know, you know, even though I, you know, I've, I've heard you get down with the drill spill, you know, you can come that way too. Well, but I just feel like most the music y'all be making be as a as a unit is fun. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's it, fun. But I I think that a lot of real rap is like, like we don't have real rap right now either. Like yeah. when you think of a song, you gonna think of a song. Like if you if you think of, um, like. Okay, like when you think of composing the song, you know, people be having a chorus, a verse, bridges. Yeah. They got this and they like a lot of people don't construct songs no more. Like it ain't yeah. like we got yeah. real music. Like yeah. nobody make bridges and nobody really yelling on their song like Anita Baker did. Like we ain't <laughs> got that. Like who gonna make the wedding music? Like, yeah. you know, like I don't think we got real music like yeah. how I 
how generations before us did, but I think it is fun music. Like it's our music. Yeah, now. yeah, it's definitely it's, it's definitely y'all music. And I sound like when, when I hear older individuals talking down on the younger people music, I feel like that's how it was. That's a cycle. It's a cycle. Like right. y'all like, listening yeah. to that young old. Yeah, yeah like, I don't understand what they're talking about. It's like nah, like it's, it's a new. You gotta have the the new ears to be able to pick up what they putting down or pick up what y'all putting down. But I, um, you know, people are looking for substance and stuff like that, and I be like, man. You need to raise your these songs ain't raising your kids. You know what I'm saying? You can't right. look you can't yeah, look for for, for for the artists to be raising your kids. You got to raise your own children. So it's like, I don't want my daughter to listen to that. Listen, let me tell you something. Your daughter going to listen to it regardless. Thanks. She going to hear it anyway. You know Immediately, what I'm yes. You know, Thanks. so I just I, I feel like that. And like, we listen to, my my we grew up on Luke, on yeah. Luke and all type of shit growing yeah, up. We did. Like, so it's just yeah. and, and tip drill and this yeah. and all that. We sure did. We just you know talking about so, Lee about that shit. Yeah, I, 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 Better right, but baby, when she said a piece of man is better than no man, I don't know what our folks was thinking. <laughs> they were thinking that, uh, immediately no. Yeah. yeah heaven like y'all not. music was crazy too. Hey, listen, crazy. hold on, hold on, hold on now. I ain't just necessarily in that line, in that line. That's in my mama folk music. We talking about yeah. better right, better writing them or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that ain't my lane. But at the same time, I will say this though. Oh, like, man. you know, it, it's just I'm, I get down with the pimping and what's going on with, you know what I mean, with, with, with certain music like Womack to Womack and certain music that's going to always... It just know, sound different. That's yeah, not, but, just, the, but the subject matter do. don't change. It's just like fashion. All this shit come back yeah, over the years. It just does. It just sound different. But like I think like just to kind of segue into like your energy, when you get on the track, you be live as hell. So <laughs> like, live yeah. as hell. Like, now you do. Now you mean where, you where, where that energy come from, Michael? Because like you come on the song, you know when it's called. Bro, you want to know what's up, like, Funny. Energy is just what's yeah. so funny when I first used to start rapping. Like, we used to get our first sessions, it used to be with Puno, right? Yeah, and like, I'd be telling them it'll be like some girls and stuff at the studio with us, and then like, I'd be telling them, like, I can't rap it like that. Like, like the <laughs> lyrics hard, but I'm sounding soft as hell. Like, I could never rap it like that, so they'll be making me mad before yeah. we record. Like, I'd be always having the attitude, like, I would be mad before I record. So, yeah. it was like that energy yeah. was like it came from, through. Yeah. Being, yeah, so yeah. but it had stopped. Like it just started being natural after a while because I was used to recording music. But at first, I couldn't. I used to say to like I had some hard lyrics, like but be sounding nice yeah, as hell, yeah. like nice as hell. So it, it was like, yeah, my delivery just started coming normal though. Like yeah. you found your way for sure. No, yeah. you definitely found. I call it finding your voice, and you definitely like. Yeah. you definitely like found it. So like. How would your life change though? Like, I mean, you've been a part of hit records like Shabuya. That was a huge record. Yeah. Um, you know, and then you just got on the uh, the wrong one. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? When y'all, you know, just like that's that's doing this thing. Like, how do you feel? Like, you know, like I see you in New York. I see you, you know, all over now. Like, you know what I mean? And I see a lot of other industry people tapping in with you. How do you feel like your life has changed? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like it's changed because this is like new to every like. My family, we never had, like, stuff like this. Like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? you the first so, generation. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, to be that big is like, and I be feeling like it's not big, but just to see how other people look at you is like, to be able to do stuff like that and to be able to go into these rooms with bigger people and stuff like that, like, it's a blessing because, like, this not what you grow up seeing. Mm -hmm. Like, this not normal. Mm -hmm. You know, Definitely it's normal, normal to me because this is my life, but yeah. it's really not normal. Like, it's a blessing that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get to do it. So, I yeah. like it, and I just be looking forward to keep going up. Like, I be, it give me, a, like, a, a adrenaline rush. Like, yeah. when I do this stuff, I be like, I want to keep doing this yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, right. it's like, I got to keep going hard. Yeah. Immediately, I yes. I like doing this. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing, man. Like, you know, you, 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 you know, yesterday, you know, you can't spend all today talking about yesterday. You'll be late for tomorrow. Damn right. you know, I always tell people that. So it's like it's about what you're doing. You know what I mean? About mm -hmm. what you did is about what you continue to do. And, and and you know, a lot of music is coming out, so it's like it's best to stay stay on your pee, you know what I mean, and, and stay Thanks. at it. Um you mentioned Pooh Shiesty, um, which is I feel like is like, man, this dude here when he come out of jail, oh my God. Yeah, he finna go it's, it's finna go ridiculously up. Thanks. Um and he's already been going up. But like, what's the relationship between between you and you and him? That's like my brother. That yeah. ain't my blood brother, but that's like my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's We're dope, real man. Close. Free shiesty, man. Immediately, you know. Immediately, I mean? yes. That's gonna be crazy. I mean, I can't wait to hear you and him back on some new, some new music. It's yeah, gonna be incredible. Gonna be but he's got a, he's got a love seeing what he's, what's going on. Why he's, why he's, why he, why he down. Yes, like he be always like. 
telling me that he loved this. Like, yeah. he loved this. Because, you know, when he first got signed, he wanted me to do the rap and stuff, too. He was like, nah, this major, you know what I'm saying? You can change your life. Like, you hard. Like, basically saying, like, bro, it's over with. Like, you can rap. Like, yeah. folks ain't seeing you, but I yeah. wasn't really feeling it. Yeah. So it's so crazy. crazy. Like, now, as soon as he gone, it's like, now I'm like, now nah, for real, I'm hard for it. Like, I got to keep going. <laughs> like, everybody <laughs> see. He spoke, he, spoke that means he spoke prophetically in you, though. Like, yeah. I, I think it's great when you have so. people speak life into you, though. Yeah, you know what I mean? And they, and they see something in you sometimes that you don't even see yourself. I wish you, know you could mean? see it. See it, see it with his eyes though. Oh, it's, it's coming. Like so much, di it's different. Like, yeah, so different. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. So, like, okay, you doing the, and I've seen the group, the group records, and but it's like I feel like it's time for 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 K Carbon to like, you know what I mean, smack yeah. the world with one of them like hits, like you know what I mean, like yeah, what, yeah so the solo dolo job, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, like so what's what's coming up on the, on that side of the thing for you? So really. What I was focused on was like being consistent, dropping music. Yeah. So I don't know, like I got a lot of music finna come out and one of them just might just be a hit. Like <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna Keep lie. Like I got folks. a song that I like so much. It's different. It's yeah. called Fuck You. And <laughs> for real though. Immediately, yeah. yes. It's so different because it's like another side of Kako because it's like I'm really talking on it. Like what I was saying about real music. Yeah. Like Real topics, real situations, what, like yeah. stuff that people feel when you going through something. Yeah. And when you feel like when you make it through something, like, you know what I'm saying? You had me fucked up, you had me bent, but now it's fuck you. And then I'm doing way better. Like, yeah. these situations mm -hmm. be beyond me yeah. at this point. So it's like one of them songs, like, that people going to feel because everybody gets to that point in their life and everybody going to make it to that point of their life if they ain't went through it yet where you get to that point where you just like, fuck everybody. Like, yeah. Immediately, yes. It's, it's, it, let me ask you a question, you know, because it seems like you know I haven't heard the song yet, but it seems like is is it about a about a significant other? Is there a significant other in K. Carbon's life? You know what I'm saying? Is, is there a love? Do you have? I got you some, know? Little you know? <laughs> some little shits. Some little shits. Immediately, <laughs> little, yes. yeah, yeah, little shits, huh? Some okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, it's about niggas, about fake friends. It's about fake people, like yeah. people who might be around you just looking for the come up, like yeah. who yeah, might not even you might not even consider a friend or you know what I'm saying, but mm -hmm. a situation like that, like you know. Yeah, I mean, I think it, as long as it's real to you, it's gonna touch somebody else. You know Fact. what I mean? No matter yeah. what, no matter what their story is, like if it's real to you, somebody else gonna hear it and and, and feel it. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, um, truth is gonna be truth. Like, you know what I mean? You're gonna always, that conviction, conviction can't be fabricated. So when something mm -hmm. convicts somebody's spirit, it is, when they hear it, it just is what it is. Because when people can relate, it's yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, truth yeah. is timeless. Yeah, it's always That's gonna that be. That's that music that lasts and transcends the times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So like, um, what what is, who is your top five? Like, you know Artists. what I mean? Artists, like, yeah, who, what, what are you, what, is, what are you, who do you consider like, Top five, but who in your playlist right now? What are I you honestly to? hate when people ask me that because <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I like so many artists, but top artists, top artists. Like, I ain't gonna lie, when they come to female, I always throw Nikki out there because she rolls so many waves. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. being able to last through so many waves, yeah. that's like, you a real artist. Yeah, not for definitely. Real. Not definitely. And so that's why I really don't be inspiring to go make no fun, catchy song because this gonna be hot for now. You gotta go. Make music, music, and, if, and yeah. you know, yo, you when you making music, you do make fun songs. Of course, that's how yeah. you. Yeah, it's part of it. You know what I'm saying? I, that's why I be like wanting to make music, music, because being an artist and being a rapper, like when you an artist, you can last waves. So I always say her because she really wrote so many waves, pop, yeah. rap, hit, like she did so much. So I always say her, and then I always for dudes, I think I like Drake for dudes. Like, yeah, yeah. He Drake one is, of them ones. Drake yeah, is definitely, you know, he's definitely one of them ones for he sure. He's one of them ones. Definitely. Um, shout out to Drake. Uh, uh, best I ever had, you know. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you for immediately, yes. Immediately, yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's going to be, actually, he, gonna, he in the city uh, tomorrow, too. He's, yeah. around, yeah, he's around his tours in, in Atlanta. He's going to be around tomorrow and Tuesday, as a matter of fact. Okay. Yeah, I seen you with Drake. You met Drake then. I seen yeah, you Yeah, we met him at um, Lil Baby. Uh, yeah. What was it? It was, a, I think it was the, the 
the friend, little baby and friends joint. Was that it? Yeah, my yeah. mind just went blank. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> gonna yeah. be amazing to you though when you like, you know, you coming out of Frazier, coming out of North Memphis, and, and then you like, you know, right there, you know, you sitting with, with Drake. These people yeah, that you and, 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 and they know, and they TV. know you. Like, it, I mean, they, it ain't like you like D riding or nothing. It's like these folks. They be, know you. Yeah, they on you. Like that's they a, listen to your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's beautiful, that's man. A that is a blessing, man. Immediately, yes, I love it, man. I really do, man. Um, what is um does 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 K Carbon cook? Do you do you? Do you? Do you? <laughs> I got my Immediately dishes. No. Yeah. I can cook pasta, wings with the sauce. Yeah. And I make my own sauce. Okay. 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 And I can cook um turkey burgers. Yeah. yeah. And real burgers. Yeah. With cheese on them. Yeah. All right, Immediately, okay. yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, In the though. kitchen with me, man. Yeah. Right, that's what's up. Yeah. Nah, listen. I um, I just, I just, I always, you know. We we've got records that we that we've been serving you, you know what I'm saying, and mm-hmm. you know we you know definitely like we definitely always a fan of your your music. Thank but I I, sure. I I think I think with females and, and and just women rappers in general, I think your character is a big part of it in today's marketplace. Like uh-huh. people like like you, you know what I mean. And I think you're doing a great job because every time I look on social media, you're always like new music, new freestyle, new something, and then like yep. new looks. Is it expensive? It's like it's expensive to be a Woman Girl, rapper, like you know what I'm saying, like man, like, like you know what I'm saying, because y'all have to switch it up, man. A lot. My manager, he be like, I can't wait till you get a discretionary budget. Yeah, because <laughs> like, <laughs> like man, he be like, what is wrong with you? Why you keep changing your wigs? Yeah, he be like why you want this? Like to shoot a music video, I be want so much. He be like, why do you want this? Why do you want this? He be like, you need a glam. Just yeah. all he be like, you just need money for glam. That's all, like only for glam. Yeah, it's a lot. I do switch my wigs a lot, but they come from me selling her too. Cause yeah. you gotta yeah. keep you, you the wig plug. Yeah. Yo, you gotta keep a new wig. How, how I'ma tell them to buy it and I ain't even wearing. Man, it. Listen, so you gotta that's wear. good marketing, Man, right? That's there. great marketing. Speaking yeah. of that, tell them where they can get the wigs from, right? Now. If you in Memphis, you can go to Beauty and Company on Parkins twenty six eighty five South Parkins Road. And if you want to go online, you can go to www.kimsdollhousecollection.com. You right can. there on the screen. Yeah. Y'all gonna put it? We gonna put it right the there. Bam. Yeah, it's right there. Put it Bam. on the floor. Yeah, it's right there, man. Uh, Facebook, Kim Dollhouse. Instagram, Kim Dollhouse Collection. Yeah, Kim Dollhouse Collection right there, man. Y'all yes. go, get, her, go man. get the hair right there. You know get what I'm saying? Get your hair, man. If, you, go get if your the hair edges is right looking messed up, man. Hey, don't come out the house with the edges messed up, man. She tell you how to get your hair together, trying to get you right, man. Don't be out crazy, You know what I mean? Immediately, no. Y'all are looking slow, man. Thanks. Go get you Kim Dollhouse Collection, man. Listen, don't call me Kim. Exactly. Don't call her Kim. Hey, oh. what's the name of the, the tape? What's the name of the new tape? I don't got a name, more. Okay. But it's on I the way. A, yeah, I'm, I'm still way. thinking. I got ideas. Yeah. Okay, we're going to help you with that. Hey, man, I'm it's still it. thinking. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, man, it's me, the Kimfo Podcast, one hard ass podcast. K Carmen, thank you so much, man, for coming in and pulling thank you up, for man. Having you know me. what I'm saying? We whole appreciate you. A whole lot of Memphis going yeah, on. Man. Hey, man. You know, hey, man. She's going to be around for a while. Y'all going to get sick of her. She feeling get ready to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I love it. I love what they're doing, <laughs> right man. It's, it's beautiful, free shysty. You know what I mean? And, uh, man, we must love you, man. We appreciate you. Thank man. you. We I always support you for sure, man. Indeed, 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 man. Immediately, Kimfo Podcast. We'll be right back after this, man. You did. Immediately, Kimfo. Slime around the one and on to keep it real in their phone. You know what's going on, and you are watching Immediately Kimfo Podcast. Immediately Kimfo. Immediately Kimfo Podcast, one hard ass podcast, keeping it moving with the women. Whole lot of And we have Slime Aroni. Don't play with her, man. Man, with the Javinci shoes on you here. Immediately fresh. Immediately, immediately, yes. What's going on, man? You know, nothing much. Just out here kicking shit. Man, listen, I'm, I'm, you know, I I, I like your vibe, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I was watching one interview you said, you said you straight up, you a Mac. You know what I mean? Hey man, you say you know, man. I, I just I, I, I one thing about it, I, I love outspoken women. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, man. I feel like we in a new day and age where women got something to say and y'all saying it and y'all standing on grizzness with it and I love it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So tell the I know I know we may know, but tell our viewers where you from, you know what I mean, and how it feel to be you. So I'm from Memphis, man. You already you know. Dig it. Immediately, it. yes. And um how it feel to be me. I mean, it be cool. Sometimes it be having its moments, but shit, I'm hard about it. I maintain, you know what I'm saying? Like, dig, dig, life's dig, dig. great. Life's great. Yeah. Where you? From? What part of Memphis you from? The east. East side. Yes, sir. See, I remember East Memphis when East Memphis was, it was like, you made it if you moved to East Memphis. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, you was God. up, like, if you made it in East Memphis. And then, all of a sudden, like, man, East Memphis just started going, like, damn, Don't like, it, it, it happened to you in the East, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
Okay. So um, East Memphis. What you went to Kirby? Nah, I went to Houston. I went to Houston. Okay, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You kind of smart then. No, <laughs> no, I <ain't laughs> went it. My mama just didn't want me to like. Yeah. Yeah, she wanted to try to give me the best. Yeah. Come on, mom, for the win. Nah, you know indeed, what I'm indeed. So I, I heard you can make some good macaroni. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> I was, I heard that from somewhere. Come was on, that? slime in the kitchen. Um, I heard you in the kitchen. You talking about the wrong macaroni? Ain't <laughs> <laughs> uh, now say now. <laughs> They just fat too. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> say, we both macaroni. You know? Immediately, yes. Uh, no, nah, dude, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a double entendre. You feel me? Nah, it did. You know it did. What What inspires you? Who inspires you? Uh. What or who? Uh, what inspired me just growing up in Memphis, like just the whole culture, everything, like the hustling, the pimping, the talking, the money, everything, and who I would say like future young thug. Outcast, um, okay. I fuck with Eminem, Missy Elliott, et cetera. Et yeah, cetera. Missy, Missy, I, like that. Missy, I met yeah. Missy uh, in this studio, as a matter of fact. Uh, real, real genuine. So, um, like and, and Outcast, they, they, you know, here too. Um, it's crazy though, you say Eminem too. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I was on him so heavy, like, just being that emo kid and feeling yeah. like misunderstood and stuff. Like, he was just talk like that shit about like mental health and all that type yeah. of shit. And I just really. I felt it. And that nigga was hard too. Oh, he like, got balls from Mars. I see so much Eminem slam. I think it's like the newer generation, so she don't know. But like I Eminem is hard. Fuck what y'all talking about. Fuck what y'all talking nah, about. Detroit, what up though, yeah. baby? Detroit is definitely like Immediately, that. yes. Um, you said misunderstood. You had a project. Mm-hmm. Misunderstood. I did, I did. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You've been you've been active uh, for a minute. I've been like following what you've been doing, picking up what you've been putting down. Mm-hmm. Um I, I think it's dope to be able to to like to see like you know your emo vibe like out of Memphis because that's kind of new you know what I mean for yeah. for Memphis you know what I'm saying like I see the nose rings swag. and the nose <laughs> swag you, you know see what I'm the saying? ice yeah. you know yeah. you see indeed indeed man so I know you just featured on the wrong one joint mm-hmm. you know what I mean how was that feeling right now I see I see y'all the video was crazy yeah that shit was turn yeah. the set it off joint was dope you know what I'm saying I thought that was definitely live I see y'all yeah. about three million views on that joint like in a week you know what I yeah. mean so I know how does that feel good to be it doesn't it feel good to be received like that it does like we all came up doing this shit yeah you know what i'm saying like really just rolling the dice and the fact that so many people just like embraced us and loved us to keep on rooting for us like it's crazy how we went from doing like a few thousand to like now like a million in a week yeah. or yeah. like in a day or some shit like it's yeah, crazy. Been doing it too. But it's consistent yeah, yeah. too, though. It's, it's also it's also shows that consistency and persistence break down any resistance. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you come know, on with the come on with like, the game. Immediately, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what I'm known for. But but I'm serious. It really does, though. It's like you know, um, a lot of times when people when people start with the music, I see people they have a grand opening and they be grand closing. Mm-hmm. When they don't start going the way it, it, it want they, they want it to go, or when they don't win the way they want to win, they want to stop. You know yeah. what I mean? And I always tell people, you, you, you know, you, when you stop is when you lose. You know, you ever been out to a show, had a show where it just was, was like a, maybe a few people out there and you had to still rock? For sure. I'm going to rock that bitch like it's a thousand people. See, out there. there you go, right? Yes. You know what how mean? you supposed to do it. See, that right there, like, you know what I mean? That 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 grit, that that grind, that hunger right there, like, Hell yeah. where that come from from you? Is it just from Memphis or is it from your from your mama, daddy, or is it like, you got brothers? How You have a big family? How your situation was? Uh, so I ain't really find out about my a lot of my siblings, like my dad passing and stuff. Yeah. But um, I see my mom would like be a single mom with two kids, like work her ass off. Yeah. So like that in itself, it just like like being from Memphis too. Like you gotta get out the mud. Like yeah, it ain't always a lot of opportunities. Like get a whole bunch of money and stuff like that. Like the minimum wage low as hell and stuff. So like you resort to other things to try to get it. So like. Hell yeah, like you just starve. You just want to get out the city and make a better life for your people. I always feel like Memphis is like training ground. If it really can, is. If you can make it out of Memphis, you can make, make it anywhere. It anywhere. Well, Immediately, yes. Yeah. Isn't it for funny real. how like when you come out of Memphis and you go somewhere else, it be like people receive Memphis so well. You from Memphis? Out of town. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, that shit how white. It's a crazy thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, it's like, man, like, you're like, man, what was y'all there when I was like, you know what I'm saying, in the town needing a plug? Uh, plug. <laughs> You know what I mean? But yeah, people, you know, it's, it's crazy, though, to see how that works, though. But Memphis link up and link up well out of town. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? We really yeah. support out of town. Like, um, so when's your birthday? May 13th. You are a Gemini. Taurus. 
Taurus. Taurus. Don't disrespect me. Oh, my fault. My bad. My bad. So Taurus. <laughs> okay, Taurus the bull. Okay. Don't play with yeah. yeah. You so you're definitely alpha woman. I am. Yeah, I say I don't like how people use that shit nowadays, but like yeah. I am pretty dominant. I can't lie. Yeah. Yeah. It be like that. It yeah. be like that. I mean, ain't like, nothing you know, wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah. Like, you know what, you know I'm, what saying? I'm saying? Okay, so tell me, like, so you told me uh, who you who you listen to for inspiration. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I like to talk to, my question, I guess I talk to people, but I want to know what people, like, really do outside of just music. You know what I'm saying? Is it like, you know, music is is, is fun. It's your job, though. You what know does what I'm saying? Slamaroni do for fun? What you do for fun, though? What you be doing, man? We like, know what, you make macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> right. you know what, what you saying? do for fun? Though? What do you like, do for fun? Is it just you know what I'm saying? Outside like, of Because y'all be talking about breaking dudes. I be like, man, I, <laughs> yeah, I'll be scared. I'm so glad I'm married because I don't know how I would Shout survive out to my in, wife and my in, kids. in today's marketplace with these women, man. Because y'all breaking dudes like the first date. You got to spend you got to spend a lot of money on the first date, man. Hey, man. I don't even like, man. I'm like. I, that was wow. the, so like what does the guy have to do for Salamarone the first day? First day, ooh. I wouldn't even say like you gotta <laughs> spend like thousands of dollars, but you gotta like pay attention to me and shit. Like know what I like, like know what know what I like to do and like really like listen to me and like just picking up on little stuff that I do and like showing me that like you care, you pay attention, shit like that. Like I like romance and stuff. All that gang shit, I be talking. I still like romance. Come on, romance. Come on, romance. I still Immediately, believe in love. yes. Hey, man. Yeah. See, I like that, man. Now, is there, you know? And I, I know I asked uh, Lisa this question. The guy, <laughs> but I'm not. I just want the people want to know because I know, like, I remember when I was watching artists that I, you know, females that I used to like back in the day that was rapping or whatever and stuff. I'd be like, man, what she got to do? What's going on? Because like? I might see her out in one of these shows. I might hey, try hey, to man. get her. Yeah. So I mean, is it is is no. And security it's, run up on you. Exactly. It's, it's stomped out right Is now. love life something that you are even interested in right now? Or is it just you just you just pretty much it's the music? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, music for sure, like my priority, I say. It's really my first love right now. Like, I'm kinda open to it, but I'm really still like emotionally unavailable right now. I can't lie. I got I out of this. Yeah. Got out of some fuck shit just trying to get back to me right now. Yeah. But um my heart's still open. So like if something come along like I receive it. Or I whatever. feel that. Yeah, that's just let it happen naturally. Yeah. yeah. I always yeah. tell people, man, love, don't look for love. Love gonna find you. You Amen. know what I'm saying? Love, love Immediately, is- yes. Love, if you see this, come find your girl. <laughs> These hoes been doing me bad out here. Yes. No, nah, man, listen. But then, I mean, you know, at the same time, your name is Slime Aroni now. So, I mean, like, <laughs> they, 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 you know, they probably feel like you've been sliding a few folds too. So, they yeah, like, hold up now. Like, they trying to get that get back. I mean, you know, Man, don't start no one be none. Nah, indeed, you know, indeed, you know man. That feel. Indeed, indeed. So tell me about what's next as far as musically, or is it, you have aspirations to do other things outside music? Like you know, I I do film and TV as well as the music thing and producing. But like, do you have aspirations to do things more than just music? You know what I mean? Hell yeah, I really want to do fashion, like modeling. Yeah. And stuff like I could see that for you. High fashion, doing all the photos and stuff. I like art. I know how to paint and stuff. So oh, you do? Like, yeah. Come on with so the I art. definitely oh. wanna. Start selling my paintings, do shit like that. I like that. I Boys like that. acting, just acting in general. Yeah. Like, I'm going to do it. Money in that too. Hey. It's, on, it's, listen, that. listen, I mean, right now we on strike, you know what I mean, with the SAG, we all striking right now, but I was a voiceover character for Red Dead Redemption 2, the video game. And uh, I got to tell you, man, like, as an artist, it, be a full creative. Don't don't mm-hmm. limit yourself to just being yeah. a, a creative. Is a creative, not just just being a, a rapper. You know, all things creative. You know what I mean. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I like that. Selling your multiple paintings, streams. doing those multiple streams, mm-hmm. getting those multiple streams going, man. Like for certain, like because you got a different yeah. look, and you should definitely like go down those go, go that way. You know what I'm <laughs> Fashion for sure. Like you know what I mean. Yeah, you be mixing it up on. Them. Yeah, yeah, you watch. Yeah. I don't watch you over yeah. the years too. Like and you bumper. Thank I, I got you. it from the tone, set the tone to the where you had not been watching for a minute. Like, Listen, I'm like okay, yeah, yeah. slime got them bars. Okay. Thank you for noticing. Now you brought up like, you like, got like, them bars. You, you know saying Respect the head, but now nah, you you be going off. Thank for you. show, for show. What's the name of the next project? Immediately, yes. I'm thinking the one and only. The, the one, one and only, only. Okay. okay. The one and only yeah. slime Maroni yeah. that make macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know what's going on. I'll play with it. I can dig that, man. Any features yeah. we any features coming up, you know what I mean, that we need to know about? Oh, 
I got so many. I don't want to spill the beans. Don't do it. Yeah, we'll stay let tuned. Just yeah, stay tuned. It's stay on the way. Tuned. Yeah, no, it's on the way. It's, a, it's on the we way. We're going to get some beats to you, too. Nah, yeah, definitely, yeah, man. man. Listen, we're going to go listen Shameless to Shameless plug. Immediately right now when we get done with this interview. We're going to go <laughs> to the yeah. studio and bump some. Right now, I scored it. <laughs> but, uh, a lot of speakers back there. Let me, let, what's, let me, I, I know everybody's liking what's going on right now. You have you living your best life right now, and you're doing your thing. But mm-hmm. are there anything about this 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 game that you don't like? Oh, uh, good question. Oh, uh, I'm trying to think. I don't no, know. It cool. really be like the fans. They're like kind of yeah. fuck it up and stuff. Like, like you not living up to like random motherfuckers expectations and stuff mm, like you yeah. be feeling like especially as a woman like they like pick you apart you know what I'm saying like from yeah, your head haters. down to your feet so yeah. like really I always gotta like stay on point making sure like you on your P's and Q's and stuff but like for all the other shit like like you said, like growing up in Memphis, like you can make it anywhere. So like this shit, you be yeah, like, yeah, smile yeah. Shit but in, in order to hate, you gotta participate, man. Yeah. You gotta watch it to be able to hate, though. Nah, yeah, for real. So nah, you're for watching sure. from the sideline with your hating ass. Yeah. yeah, stay over there. We yeah. appreciate y'all. Indeed, indeed. Like you know, like for I say, view. use it. You know what I mean. Mm. Mm-hmm. Use it, use uh, use all of it. You know what I'm saying to your advantage. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and and record as much as possible in everything you're feeling in right now, everything so, you're going through or whatever, because that that's really what you know. What I mean, that gives you the that gives you the fire. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Use them. You know what I mean. Use it. You know. But uh, you in the game and they're on the sideline like Shay Shay. You know <laughs> so immediately, you know, yes, indeed, man. Um, I, what I want to ask you though. Let me see here. Was there something else I want to ask you? Um. That's all, I think that's all I really had. I think you got something else for? Man, um, this Oscord. Okay. I'm going to buy any beats. Okay. Well, then we're going to do it like you this. Listen, but I definitely I, I definitely cannot wait to hear your full body work because I love what all y'all doing together. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I think that that's dope, the unison. But I, I definitely feel like, you know, Memphis, we got it. We got it right now. And in order for us to continue sure. to have it, we got to keep coming. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And and I want I want to see all y'all score, you know yeah. what I mean, with them on them charts. Everyone, boom, 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 yeah. boom. You know what I mean? Because I love, that, I because love. because that what what that does is people don't realize that it you, your success is and and K Carbon success or Lisa's success or Glorilla's success. Even if you don't people y'all don't necessarily touch the fact when y'all come out and chart, it makes this domino effect. Yeah. Of these labels and everybody start, they just come to Memphis and with, yeah. with that bag. Yeah, Memphis you know going I mean? crazy. Right so now. you know, it, so I, I that's why I be I push Memphis so much on the podcast and just push it wherever I'm at because it's just like what you do in what you do affects everybody else too. You know what I mean? For sure. And I just want to see us continue to eat those charts up. You know what I'm saying? Like and win. And I think like with y'all, it's like y'all changing female rap. Because yeah. it's like, you know, most of them is just, you know, overly sexual. And then y'all do y'all stuff like that. But y'all coming hard. Like, yeah. Y'all, y'all coming bars. real bars. <laughs> and y'all like playing. like and, yeah. and it's so, it's Memphis as fuck. And it's just like, I just love to see that personally. Appreciate just from it. being in music myself over the years. And just to see the females come out. And then y'all work together. Because yeah. like, you don't get a lot of, there's so much hate. Like you was talking earlier, like with the men going back and forth, this and that. A lot of, you know, history in the city like that. It just looks like y'all growing up together, having fun, and just making money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it's really all about. So yeah. salute so keep, to y'all salute for Salute to y'all. Respect and roses to all of the women Whole lot of from the town. Shout out to Lisa. Shout out to Glow. You know what I mean? You know, we did that. Gloss the, up, we, whoop, y'all. Gloss up. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. K-Carbon. The whole camp. You know what I mean? The whole yeah. camp, man. I, just, I love what y'all doing, man. Keep winning. Keep being successful. And y'all, the door is always open for y'all for every time y'all drop to come back to the Immediately Kinfolk Podcast. And we're going to make sure we, we turn y'all all the way up. Up, man, indeed, because we like definitely that. support our queen folks out here doing what y'all think Love. straight up, man. But uh, that's what it is, man. Slime Roni right here, man. You know what I mean? Immediately Kim Folk Podcast, man. Y'all look out for her. She's on the way. You dig what I'm saying? She got something to say. Y'all be blessed, and we're going to be back at y'all in just a minute. Immediately Kim Folk Podcast. E- 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 immediately Kim Folk. What's up? This your girl, A-L-E-Z-A, and you're now watching Immediately Kim Folk Podcast. Immediately Kim Fo. Immediately Kim Fo podcast, one hard ass podcast. Man, you know, as I believe women is running the world right now. They are. And we have another one from Memphis, Tennessee. Another one. To my left or maybe to your right. Don't play with mic. her, man. Lisa, what's up, Lisa? It's only one. What's up? What's up, man? Immediately, it's yes. Only one, Lisa. How you feeling today, man? How's it feel I'm to be? Good. How's it feel to be you? 
feel good. It feels exciting. Good. Exciting. Overwhelming sometimes. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. What part of Memphis are you from? I ain't from Memphis. Where you from? I'm from Mississippi. You from Mississippi? Yeah. What I'm part? The Delta. The Delta. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, tell me, tell me how you end up hooking up with with all these Memphis artists and how like. How you in Memphis? Well, yeah. first of all, I grew up around Memphis as a kid. Yeah. Back and forth from Memphis and Mississippi. Yeah. But I ended up doing a showcase, and that's where I met He Kid and Carvin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He Kid was on our show. He told us about that uh mm-hmm. that showcase and putting yeah. together the putting together the women. You know, you got a yeah. different you got a different voice. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like real soft and. <laughs> I've heard you sing too. Yeah, definitely on the yeah. R&B too. I, 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 I like yeah, I that vibe. Yeah, I got a singing voice. Yeah, I, I like that vibe. I'm so. about to pop out. With you about, it. about to yeah. pop out with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, it? Done, you done gave us a couple snippets a couple times couple on times. it. Good yeah. vibes, good vibes. Is it gonna be like a whole album or is it like what? Nah, it's gonna be like a, a sneak peek. A sneak peek. Yeah. Well, you think you ever come out with a whole album as R&B? Or like yeah. a, like a dual CD type, you know what I'm saying? Like where it's like you know like kind of just Drake be doing the singing and he be rapping too. <laughs> Eventually, when I get to that point. Yeah. What point you trying to get to? I'm trying to get to the point where I'm charting R and B and rap. Dig that. Immediately, yeah. yes. I can dig that. I can definitely dig that. So you've been charting thus far with like his songs like Shabuya. You was on that. You was on this mm-hmm. wrong, on the on the wrong wrong one right now. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like. How is it like to be able to be, you know, like received like that nationally, like being from the Delta? You know what I mean? Um, well, it's an exciting feeling because like everybody from back home, yeah, they treat me like a superstar. Well, you are. Yeah, I know I'm a superstar, yeah, but I'm just yeah. saying though, it's a wonderful feeling because like this home, and at first they was like, ah, oh, this just, this yeah. just her. But like now they respect me. Yeah, they hate on Jesus when he was, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying, in his hometown. He he ain't do a lot of miracles though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause the hometown, hometown be like, you know, they make the best haters though, but it push you though. You know what I'm saying? It really Immediately, you be, yes, to be something bigger though. You know what I'm saying? So I see you in there. You brought your baby with you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Did. So how, talk to me about the baby. How old are they? Uh, my baby nine months, about to be ten months. Man. So. Yeah, I be taking my baby to work with me. And you been grinding through the man. whole so life. Like, man, you was yeah, beautiful. I ain't taking no break at all. You was no, grinding through like, the pregnancy. Not, yeah. not, not like, one break. Wow. She been here with me through it all, so why stop now? Immediately, You think, you think yes. she gonna do some music? Mm-hmm. I would imagine she will, like, because you like right what <laughs> yeah. you doing it. Um, shout out to my boy Jay, man. I see Jay, you manage man. Yeah, like, sure. you know, Money by the pound. Like, he been mm-hmm. around for a long time. How y'all hook up? Yeah, this is my CEO. Um, yeah. Through DM. Yeah, that's what's mm-hmm. up, man. That's what's up. DM popping. That's what it is, yeah. man. So, what? What? You, who do you? Who you? Who you vibe to? What you? What you listen to? Who, who does Aliza like vibe to? Who you get inspiration from? Um, I listen to Aaliyah. I listen to Dage Love. Okay. Um, who else I listen to? I listen to myself. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to, um, yes. I listen to Cheap Keep, Drake, yeah. Yeah. Little Baby. Yeah. Then I be going way back. Way but back. But I ain't gonna tell y'all that what because then y'all gonna take my sauce. I'm gonna, oh, okay. I can't tell you about it. <laughs> See, don't get lost in the I, cre- sauce. I created, you know what I'm saying? I for sure I create the sauce. Um <laughs> indeed, you know. Um it's original. Um mm-hmm. so like, you know, like when I'm listening to your music and and I see like, you know, you kinda like, you know, you setting yourself apart out here with your with your style and what you coming out, you coming. Is it like you feel pressure, you know what I mean, to be able to come with bigger records after coming with a record that that is successful. Do you feel mm-hmm. pressure? You know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes oh. I be feeling pressure, but I just work through it and I just keep like trying different versions of myself. Yeah. And seeing what I like and what can be harder than what I put out before. I can dig that. Dig Definitely that. dig that. So what's when your birthday? January. January. You what's your what's your Capricorn. Capricorn? Yeah. My brother Capricorn. Y'all some deep people. Y'all quiet. <laughs> but y'all deep yeah. too though. You deep. Is there is there I ain't is, that quiet. Yeah, you know, well, I mean, yeah, you got you, you portion deck wide, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, is it you? You got you got a significant other, or you just like you know what I mean? It's just you and the baby, or you know, you what and mean? my business. I'm just asking, you know, people. <laughs> I'm just asking, you know, you know. Okay, all right, no other, you know, no, we'll leave that part alone. You um, and my business. I mean, you immediately know, just, you know, no. People just say, know I'm a mother, not a baby mama. That's what it is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately, yeah, yes. It. Yeah, that's you know it's kind of part of what you know you got dudes out there that like you you know what I mean they might want to you know what I mean they want to shoot their shot so you know I want at least be able to like you know. Okay, so y'all know. heard Carvin' new fun- new song right? Yeah. Okay, you can't flash all that money and not give me none. <laughs> Immediately, yes. <laughs> I heard that. 
We see you icy over here too now. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gotta come correct. Don't fail. So that's what you do. You no like you money. like you you like to break dudes. And not give her none. That's 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 more your thing. You more of a P. You more of a you a Mac. You a I'm P not with a P. Yeah. Okay. 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 So um let me see here. I wanna ask you something, you know. Mm-hmm. Are you a um so so let me ask you this real quick. Let me just let me just let me just double back real quick. So what's your favorite thing about what's going on in your life right now? Um, I'm getting a chance to like chase my dreams and actually succeed with it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it something you always felt like inside was was, was Yeah, ever since I was a little girl. You just felt it like yeah. you had it. Yeah. What was it like to, you know, when you first come out there and like, you know, getting on the mic and, and getting in front of a crowd, you know what I mean, and, and doing your thing? Do you ever feel like butterflies? Is it like I ain't gonna lie. I used to go out and not look at the crowd. Yeah. I feel it. I, I feel felt that. butterflies though. Yeah. When I first started. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. So you um you were on tour, you was just on you did you did you do the whole tour or are you just doing your spot day? So what like tour. I did. I know. I caught you when you um, when I went to Glow's tour. Yeah, I was had. on Glow tour. Yeah, yeah. I caught you out there. I thought you was talking about something else. I'm sure. Like, what you talking about? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. I'm up on the up on what's going on mm-hmm, for sure, yeah. for sure. Um, okay, okay, okay. So, what's the name of the new project and what you getting ready to come with? Um, I'm undecided about the name, but I'm getting ready to come with a couple of songs to see what people just rock with. Yeah. Before I continue to just go. Yeah. Forward with it because I want to rock with the sound that they rock with. Yeah, yeah. I think that's cool yeah. to be able to, to put out music, to be able to kind of see, like, what the audience is into. You know what I mean? You kind of use your Instagram or your stuff like that to be able to mm-hmm. kind of get indicators of what's work, what works, what don't work. You know what I'm saying? I think that's cool. Um, You, um, you, um, what are you, what does, what does Aliza do for fun besides music? Um, besides music, I be playing in my hair. I don't know how to do hair. Oh, okay. Uh, I make TikToks. Okay, okay. I read. I play basketball too. You who? Okay. I work out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you can who? Yeah. Uh-huh. I won the state championship before. I oh, really? Immediately. What was your yes. position? Point guard, shooting guard. Oh, okay. You a baller okay. for real? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I can dig that now. Okay. I dig that. Like ball. What's that girl from? I can do a listen. Yeah, listen. Uh, you mm-hmm. won the state championship. You can probably do more than listen. Yeah. <laughs> what's your What's your last book you read? The last book I read. Yeah. <laughs> you say you read. I just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. read. Okay. I read articles. I read more than just books. No. Yeah. yeah. I said I read. I ain't tell you what I read. <laughs> <laughs> I be reading articles too. I read articles too. I be reading Google. Hmm. Yeah. What I'm, talking about. I'm just saying. No, I, read. They, they, I read they. whatever come up on my timelines, period. I read every day. <laughs> Immediately, yes. I ain't like. I don't play with her. <laughs> I feel it. Indeed, indeed, oh, indeed. Man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold up. <laughs> hold up, man. She's funny. All right. Hey. So what's next for you? What's next? What's next for Lisa? Um, consistency. More mm. work for me. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, work but guess work for certain. You like movies? Yeah. What's your last movie you watch? Last movie I watched? Mm, damn. Talk to me. Mm. Mm. Talk to me. I just yeah. I, I just watched this. It was this. on Amazon Prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just watching this song. This is just John called uh, the other black girl. Yes, yeah, it's sounds pretty hard, man. You should you know why you on the tour or whatever. You might mm-hmm. want to check it out. It's kind of dope, man. Yeah. Definitely kind of dope, man. All right, well, Lisa, man, we ain't gonna hold you, man. We just wanted to, you know, just just tap into your man and just. Sure. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. No, it was nice indeed, meeting you indeed. too, man. It was nice meeting you too, man. Um. Is there any other businesses you want to promote while you're on here? Any other thing you got going on outside just the music? Or is it just all just music? It's all music. That's what it is, man. Well, that she is, y'all. Aliza. It's only one. It's only one. You did. A-L-E-Z-A. Indeed, man. The big one. Immediately, yes.